She was at $3,571 and she's, or $3,500.71. She's still at that? She is, Your Honor. And this is one where um, an answer, I, I believe you told her to file an answer. She filed it. The court sent it to me. I don't, it doesn't say anything. There's no attachment. I'm not sure what the yeah. defenses are. And frankly, Your Honor, I don't know if you recall, but this this particular resident was in another unit. We generously waived her entire balance because she had repair issues. We moved her into a new unit. And now she hasn't paid any rent. I was locked out in the middle of moving. Sorry. I was locked out in the middle of moving, and they didn't help me with like what we agreed upon. You were locked out, and they didn't help you. What do you mean by that? So it, remember how we were talking about how I couldn't afford a moving truck and that they will figure out something for me. Right. They locked me out in the middle of moving. And when we got access, which was end of May, a lot of my stuff was stolen, including a firearm, all my small kitchen appliances, my daughter's brand new sheets, my security cameras. So what do you, what do you mean they locked you out? I don't get it. Like I, we didn't have access. Like they changed the locks on your on my pre yes. I would, I did not render the old keys. I um, I and also so in essence. So I just want to shortcut this. In essence, you're saying they changed the locks before you got all your stuff out. <laughs> I don't know what to do at this point. You're you're in effect, and um. I, I would respond, but I'd rather have Amy respond because she has direct knowledge of what happened because I don't believe that's that that's our position. And I also don't believe it's relevant to this case, but that's a separate issue. I, I think it's worth responding to. Um, Your Honor, that's absolutely not factual. She signed a whole new lease. And I don't think um, I, I don't think Ms. Lutkoff or anyone would volunteer us to um uh, pay for a moving truck or use my maintenance guys to move her belongings, which is what Ms. Uh, Bannock seems to be under the impression that we offered her in court. Um, she was given plenty of opportunity. In fact, there was a lot of grace given here um, to remove her stuff. And in fact, she came in our office on several occasions saying she didn't have a babysitter. She had to work, her, her boyfriend had to work, all these reasons. I locked down the apartment upon her signing a new lease, sir. She took possession of a new apartment, Your Honor. And yes, I locked down the unit. She did turn in keys to our box. And so I took possession of an apartment that she no longer had possession of, Your Honor. And she left the oh, there stuff in there. Yes, my there stuff was, was there in was there. And boxes, I, have right now. I believe. I have the keys. So what? The keys I mean, are in my back. I can't say whether she kept a set of keys or not, Your Honor, but what I do know is that way later after the fact, after she's been in this other apartment for quite some time, she's bringing up issues of stuff that she wanted out of the old apartment. And at that time, I had already started a trash out, Your Honor. I, I, I mean, she signed a whole nother lease. Your Honor, I think there was an issue. She, I understand she signed a whole nother lease. But I'm just trying to figure out what period in time are we talking about? I have a timeline. So Your Honor, I'm going to just state, state for the record here that factually, just from a legal perspective, if she wants to pursue, she certainly can file an action for damages if she feels that her property has been damaged on another unit. But we're in court on this unit. And so I don't believe it's well, relevant. Yeah, but this unit, Ms. Lockoff, that's disingenuous because this unit only comes about because of the issues that were in the other unit. So to try to separate them out doesn't make much sense. Well, I, I think it does, Your Honor, because she didn't remove her belongings, but obviously this is your courtroom. Okay, I, but I that, just... may be, that may be a defense to what she's claiming if she didn't remove the items. That may be a defense, but to say it has to be a whole another separate thing, I don't think that that's true. Well, I do because we're talking about a certain property okay, address. Okay, then I'll that... take what she filed I'll tell her to go up there, stamp it in and there's another case, and it's just coming back with this one. I don't know where that gets us. Well, I don't know what she filed. I mean, she didn't say anything in her filing, so but that's fine. 
You want to consolidate it? I don't have an issue with that. We can provide you documentation well, as you to what happened. Well, you have an issue with anything. All I'm trying to do is get to the bottom of this. Bottom line. That's all I want to know. And I want to know where I'm going to take this case. So, so she can have her objections. You can have your objections. We're going to do it my way. Go ahead, ma'am. All right. So the reason why we're here is because I feel like I can't trust their maintenance people because my stuff was stolen. I don't want anyone coming into my apartment. Ma'am, ma'am, you were at the point of a timeline. Yeah. So <laughs> the timeline is we, we, I think we did our court date like April 26th, I think. And that's when we dismissed the case, which honestly, I wish we had set things and, and, you know, whatever. Um, and then that next week or that Friday or whatever, whatever they had to finish with the apartment, I think we grabbed the keys like that Friday. So then we started that weekend because I worked, I wor was working two to 10 30. So I was, we were putting the kids to bed and then we were getting the stuff. Plus, like I said, okay, fine. Yeah. Couldn't move it. So how much time passed between the time that you got the keys to the new place? It was like a week and three days. And so then we 10 lost, days yeah. passed. And we lost access for three weeks. We didn't get this. Oh, ma'am, ma'am, stop. You had act after you moved into the other apartment, you had access for 10 days. Basically, yeah. And you couldn't get all of your stuff out in 10 days. No. Okay, that's going to be a problem for you. They can't hold the apartment open for you to go in and move out in that fashion. You don't get 30 days to move out. I understand. Um, it would have been quicker if we could have just had that one last day. Ma'am, I don't, I'll be honest with you. If you're telling me you made it sound initially like they locked you out and that's all I was trying to get to the bottom. Yeah. They didn't do that. It seems like, and by what you're telling me, you get the other unit, you've got 10 days and you don't get all your property out in 10 days. Well, technically we didn't even have 10 days. They only gave us a week, but. Okay. And, and that's even my point. Yeah. My point is 10 days would be extraordinary grace to get your stuff out. Yeah. A week, maybe about normal, mm -hmm. that you move from one unit to the next unit. Maybe what get about that. the previous agreement that some, some help was going to happen? Ma'am, I don't recall that being the issue. Can we look issue. over the transcripts, please? The transcripts of what? If you want to order transcripts, you can. I tried. I haven't gotten a response. I have not received a request for anything. It was a month and a half ago, granted. Sorry. You, no, ma'am. You, you made a request for transcripts to my staff? Yes, I did. I called and then they told me to email her. Um, email who? Whoever. I, I don't remember the name. Well, you're going to have to show me that email because I'm going to be honest with you. If you're telling me my staff did not respond to you or did not address that, Okay, give me one second. Sure. Ma'am, while well, you're looking for that, who was supposed to help you move? I'm not sure. Apparently, I mean, we it said that they will figure something out because I literally said I could not afford a moving truck. Ma'am. Okay. So you go over to this new unit. And you have not paid any rent in that new unit. And your justification for not paying rent in the new unit is because things got stolen from your other unit. Yeah. There is some major issues with my new unit, though. And they said it was good to go. It's not good. It was not good to go. Ma'am, you paid no rent. Nothing. I don't think it's okay to steal someone's stuff. Well, they didn't steal it. Except they did because we made an You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to set this for a trial. We're going to set this for a trial on an expedited basis. Because 
Did you find that email to my staff? Because I don't believe that you're telling me the truth. I because, ma'am, I'm going to tell you what. When somebody tells me my staff didn't respond. I did call up here. I will say that. But you said you sent an email. Yes, unless I, it didn't, oh, it didn't. Well, I have it on here, but I didn't send it apparently. Well. I'm not going to make you apologize to my staff for trying to say they didn't no, respond. No, ma'am. I'm just going to tell you right now. Here's how I work. And my staff knows this. If somebody wants something from them and they're supposed to provide it, they provide it. If you come up in here and you tell me that my staff didn't do it, didn't order the transcript, that they didn't respond to it, you want to ruffle my feathers? No. You insult my staff. I just so I don't, I don't. I'll consider anything you're saying about that afterwards. Just an apology to Emily. Okay. I'm, set, I'm just going to set this for well. I'm just going to set it for trial. I don't. The final settlement conference is going to work. Give me a trial date on a Tuesday. <laughs> I can't. Of I, this month? Um, can we possibly set it for August? No. I. You have, ma'am. I'm not going to delay this out. You, you paid no rent. Okay, but I have a, I have a class on Tuesday. Ma'am, I get. We all have different things on Tuesdays. We all have different things, different times. I'm going to set it for trial. You've not paid them any rent. You're claiming that they stole your stock. You're claiming that they didn't help you. Well, I'm going to get to the bottom of it, if that's what it is. So I'm going to set an on-jury trial in this matter. Are we like For July 23rd. So does that mean like jury and stuff? No, ma'am. No jury was requested. July 23rd, 2024. That will be at 9 a.m. That will be in person. Ma'am, you make sure that you have all of your witnesses, all of your evidence. We'll hear it then, and then I'll make my decision. Your Honor, can I just ask you, because I know I'm I've, on that day, um, I have another, I don't think it's at 9 a.m. Um, let me see. Oh, it is. Okay. All right. And you, I, I understand you want this one in person, so I'm not going to request, yes. even though it's past the deadline. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.